Hello everyone, this is Craig Shallahammer from Orapub, and I'm going to give you a real quick demo about the Orapub CPU speed test, which is a tool that I surprisingly use quite a bit. So first of all, you got to get the software. So just go to orapub.com. Right now you go to resources and the tools drop down here. And then uh, it's going to be near the top here. And it's going to be pretty obvious, the purple box. All right, so you click the details and download. That's going to bring you to the page. And then just click on the download now button. And this is a totally free tool, members and non-members, anybody can do that. So you go to the typical download page, type in your info here. Of course, I'm already in the system. So it's, uh, I don't, you know, it's really fast. And then I'm going to be prompted for the download page and I simply click the download file. And even though it's a SQL script, I, I, I put a prefix of a TXT file. So that way um, you can actually just see it and you can, you can literally copy and paste this in SQL plus. Uh, the one thing I do want to highlight here, well, there, there's two things. One, the usage here is that you put in the number of test samples you want, in this case 30. Um, you know, put in whatever you want. I notice that once you get over, especially over 30 samples and especially over 100 samples, the results really start to stabilize. When I run this for real, I usually do 300 samples. It takes maybe 30 seconds on most systems. Um, so it'll either prompt you for that or just put it on the command line, which is what I typically do. Okay, so that's the number of test samples. That's really the only thing that I need to show you in the script itself. So what I want to do now is uh, I want to demonstrate this to you. Okay, so I have this loaded. It's in my directory here. That's the file right here. Okay, so we're going to go into SQL Plus and we're going to go ahead and run this puppy right now. So this is on an Oracle system. Doesn't make any difference if it's loaded or not. Doesn't make any difference what the OS is. It's n it just doesn't make any difference. The speed test, essentially, what it's going to do, is going to tell us how fast Oracle can process buffers. Buffers take CPU. If you have a faster CPU, Oracle can process buffers quicker. So it's a really good low level uh, test about how fast your CPU speed is. So uh, let me kind of go from the top here. Okay, so I typed in, hey, go ahead and run this thing. I want 30 samples. Uh, the only thing you really need to watch out for is, well, a couple things. Um, if there's any physical I.O. activity picked up by the session, the results or the sample will not be included. Okay, because that's going to mess up um, the, the time to process that single buffer. So we do not want to include that. That'll throw off the CPU speed numbers. The other thing is, is that the average CPU utilization is, let's say, just around you know, greater than 70%, then there's likely to be some operating system CPU queuing, and that's going to throw off our numbers too. Right? Our goal here is to get the fastest that the CPU can process buffers. Okay. So if the CPU subsystem is getting hammered, then there's going to be some OS queuing and that's going to slow down how fast the CPU can actually process buffers. So I'm going to throw that sample out too. In addition, the first two samples here I will not include. You'll notice it says not included here. And that's just because I don't, I don't want to include the first two. I want to make sure everything just kind of steady state. Because you'll notice like the first one here actually has some different numbers. In fact, uh, this right here is the number of physical IOs. So for sure, that one would not be included. Anyway, so just kind of scroll down here. You can see there's 30 samples, and then the test is actually complete. The result here is what I call the, the speed factor. And the higher the number, the faster the CPUs are. So we're going for a higher number right here. So this number is relative. Okay, In itself, it doesn't mean anything. So what, when this is useful is when you compare it to uh, you, you compare the speed factor to the speed factor run on another box or another instance. It, it's it's what we're tr usually what I'm trying to do is to compare the CPU processing speeds from an Oracle database perspective. Okay, so I'm looking for a way to com to apples to apples compare that, and this is what this number can be used for. Okay, essentially what this is is it's the inverse. Okay of the wall time it takes Oracle to process a single logical I.O. that is a buffer git. Okay? Um, 
Now the reason I did the inverse is because I want to get a big number. In other words, a bigger number means a faster CPU. And if you don't do the inverse, we're going to get 0 0.0, you know, 0. We're going to get really small numbers. So this seems to be easier for people to work with, especially when they're going to do some math on this. Okay. So in addition to the, the speed factor, here's some supporting details about the math and all that kind of thing. Um, I also include the also include the SQL ID that's run during the test. And um, you're going to see I'm going to, I'm going to paste that in here. And that's important because I want to make sure that when I run this, this, uh, the, the test on another system, the execution plan is pretty much the same. Otherwise, the test is going to be skewed by the Oracle Optimizer. Now, perhaps you want to do that, but usually I don't. Okay, I want Oracle to run the same execution plan so I get a better uh, speed value, more of an apples to apples comparison. Okay, so that's going to, when I press return here in just a minute, um, we're going to see the execution plan, and so that's an easy way to, so you can compare it when you run the script. The other things that I put here, really just for your reference, is some information about the system that you're running this on. That's actually really helpful, especially when you do this on a lot of different systems. Okay, now let's go ahead and actually look at the execution plan. And there it is. Now sometimes it does not stay in the library cache very long. So you need to do that pretty quick after you run the test many times. So there's the execution plan. A couple of things. Not only do we have the SQL ID, okay, we also have the plan hash value. <clears throat> so that's a real quick way uh, for you to compare this on uh, different systems as well. But hey, if the plan hash value is different on different systems, which it could be, then of course we have the actual operations down here as well. So that's a real quick demo on how to download and use my Orapub CPU speed test. Hope you have a lot of fun with it, and all the best in your Oracle performance endeavors. <laughs>